I just found something good. <laughs> Look, I don't want to get too excited, but I'm thinking penguin. Well, we did it. <laughs> we found a penguin and we prepped a penguin. No idea what species it is, still need to figure that out, but we'll leave that to the professionals. But man, it was quite a journey. This was the hardest prep I've done. This is four months of work, you know, coming home in the evening, prepping it, prepping it on the weekends. Many, many acid <laughs> prep sessions in here, way more than I showed on video, but I really think it's been worth it. Let's go take a closer look at this penguin. What's crazy is how well preserved and articulated this skeleton is. Articulated means all the bones are kind of in the position where they were when the bird was alive. So at the top here we've got a little bit of the spine sticking out. This is a section of the skull. Here's the wishbone. These are the coracoids. And here's the, the wing on either side. That's the humerus where our biceps would be. This is the sternum and the keel, whole bunch of ribs coming up here. Here's the leg over here and there's the tail. And this over here is a random little claw 
which looks very much like a raptor claw from Jurassic Park, just a miniature version. So a very, very complete penguin over here. So the coracoid is this bone over here that connects to the sternum right over there. And you can see this one's dislocated, so it should be uh, flat like this one is on this side, but this one's been pushed up, it's dislocated. If we want to get a little bit CSI, if you look here at the furcular, the wishbone, it's broken there. And that's filled in with sediment, so it must have happened when this bird got buried by the sediment. One of the reasons I don't actually break rocks open with a hammer on the beach is if you look here, those are all little micro fractures. And this bone over here, it's almost like glass. So if I'd knocked this with a hammer to try and see what's inside here to split it open, those little cracks would have exploded. And I don't know if we would have been able to put it back together again. If you look over there, it's there's hundreds of little cracks running throughout this, this fossil. So I've consolidated with B72 to strengthen it. But yeah, that's why I choose to use acid and air scribes to prep it. The most important bone in a penguin for identifying it and seeing where it fits in in the penguin lineage is the tarsometatarsus, the ankle bone, which would have kind of fit in over here. Well, it's kind of like an ankle bone, but it would have been right over here. And you can see the rocks top forming over here, the concretion. So it's pretty sad because I was like, oh, you know, it's an awesome fossil, but it's missing that one bone until I saw this little bit sticking out here. So let me flip it over for you carefully. Very carefully. But look at that. That's the tarsometatarsus right there. And it's got no right to be there. It should be outside of the concretion. But by some chance, it's flipped back over under the tibia tarsus, the leg bone over here, and it's been preserved. And not just preserved, but beautifully preserved. You can see those holes in it there. All those holes and grooves are going to help identify this penguin, whether it's a new species or where it fits in in the lineage. That's an incredible, incredible find that. My plans with this fossil penguin is to make a 3D model of it and then to donate it to a museum where it can be studied further. <laughs> Thanks for everyone that stuck around while I was searching for this penguin. I know I've been talking about penguins for probably three or four years now and finally we found and prepped one. I really appreciate everyone's support. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt.